Hey everybody, welcome to a very special episode. It's called Unboxing and Assembly How To Video for the Horticulture Lighting Group's 600 True Watt Juggernaut Quantum Board System. First, I will share, I am not an electrician. It was a bit of a learning curve for me to try to figure out how to make this happen, but I did figure it out and I'm here to show you. Am I going to do it in the cleanest, most efficient way possible? Probably not. Like I said, not an electrician. However, what I will be doing will make the damn thing turn on. In, in technicality, it is correct, even if it, my wiring is a little bit messy. What are we going to need for this? Well, you're going to need a screwdriver. There we go. Focus on the screwdriver. Oh, it's focused on that. Doesn't matter. Maybe we'll go over here. We're going to need some basic little wire strippers a screwdriver, and to be honest with you, that is basically it minus what is going to come into your kit. Maybe having a box cutter, that's good too. So let's cut this bitch open and see what happens. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, how's everybody else doing today? Good to see ya, right? Hello. Box cutter's too fancy for me. Oh, right, I gotta loosen my nut. There we go. Uh, I got one nut after cancer. Loosen your nut. Hey -oh. So as we all know, I love playing with box cutters. But anyway, let's move on. Be very careful. Don't go shanking through your box. Okay, we're just using this for tape, ladies and gentlemen. Not your hands, not the components, just the tape. Opening up your quantum boards. Oh, 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 there we go. We are now done using the box cutter. Take it away and keep it away out of the uh, reach of children. Man children still count as children. Be careful, boys. Don't hurt yourselves. Ladies, you'll probably be all right. You're a little bit safer than we are usually. All right, so when you open your box from Horticulture Lighting Group, this is what you're gonna see. Ooh, they sent us paper. Nah, just chilling. Okay, so, packing paper, we don't need that. There we go, so this first box here, what is this? This is gonna be a new custom driver, okay? LED driver, it's gonna power the whole unit. This is your nuclear reactor, quote unquote. This is gonna feed the power into your quantum boards. There we go, as you can see, it's a very fancy new thing there. Um, the quantum uh, board drivers that were sent to us by Horticulture Lighting Company are a slightly different one that would come with the standard unit uh, for the V-Tools because we wanted the ability to use a potentiometer uh, to dim the lights. What is a potentiometer? A potentiometer is basically, simply put, like a little knob, a little control piece that's going to make your lights bright and make them not bright. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is your quantum boards, okay? As you can tell, coming from Order Culture Lighting Group. When you open your thing, your heat sink might be in Chinese paper. That's because I do believe the heat sinks have come from China because it's cheaper. So your quantum boards are assembled with top shelf uh, diodes coming from uh, Samsung in South Korea, assembled in the US of A, the drivers, as far as I'm aware, are also assembled uh, by the Horticulture Lighting Group. They design and make their own specified drivers um, to make it nice and sexy. Um, so let's take a look inside this here. We'll show you what the quantum boards look like. Oh, I lied. I'm opening the box cutter again. Oops, going the wrong way. As you can tell, I'm super smart sometimes. There we go. Now we're just gonna cut that little piece of tape. Ooh, there we go. Taking our box cutters away so we don't hurt ourselves. Inside this handy dandy little box, you're gonna have a bundle like this. Two separate packages. In each package, you're gonna have two quantum boards. One and two, okay? Total of four quantum boards for your new lighting system. We're gonna take these out for the moment and we're gonna place them off to the side. Make sure they're in a safe place. Don't drop the damn things. All right. All right, all right, all right. Paper. We don't need the paper. More paper. We don't need the paper. So, 
What you're going to have here in the bundle is a bunch of screws, bolts, and uh, uh, solid state core wiring. A little clippity dippities called, um, uh, fuck, what are they called? Wago clips. They're very simple, making your wiring all the more easy. Um, the one thing I did notice about these new drivers is the screws that come with this kit to attach it to the chassis or the heat sink aren't big enough. I'm assuming they were big enough for the original drivers that this comes with, but we got the fancier drivers. Big shout out to Autoculture Lighting Group for hooking us up here at Pot Squatch Rollers. Um, fuck, where did I put the, uh, the other bolts here? Here we go. So I went and bought longer screws. I just got some basic uh, uh, SE machine screws with the compatible uh, nuts to go with that, okay? We're gonna need two nuts and two uh, bolts for each assembly just to hold our drivers onto our heat sink. So, we'll get to that next. This is gonna be your power cord, okay? That's gonna wire into one part of your driver. We're gonna show you how to do that too. All right now, this lovely doohickey here is called a potentiometer. We're gonna show you how to wire that in. One of these wires you don't need, I think it has something to do with like a remote control or a light control, some other fucking thing that we're not gonna be building into this. The ones you need to worry about is your left wire and your center wire. As you can tell, there's three of them, center and that one. If you go the other way, it's just gonna reverse how your knob turns up and down. Not a big fucking deal. It's still gonna work, not a big deal. So we're gonna take that, we'll put that off to the side now. Now, get our Chinese made, wrapped in Chinese newspaper, um, heat sink here. Be careful, one, it's quite fucking heavy. A lot heavier than I anticipated. That's why I'm still debating on how the fuck am I gonna hang these bitches. And two, it actually has extremely sharp edges on it. Something I discovered. So one must be careful. Ooh, cool, movies in Chinese. I don't know what it is. I am sure it is very entertaining though. Maybe one day it will come to Canada. Did you know Pot Squatch was in a fucking Chinese movie once too? It's on the Chinese Netflix. I don't know what it's called. It's not called Netflix. But there we go. Oh, there we go. And now, get this fucker out. we we'll take that down. We don't need any of that shit no more. So, as you can see here, you have your heat sink. This heat sink, your driver, is going to sit on the top of this part here. These are the bolt holes right there and right there that are going to hold your driver in place. Okay? Now, on this side here, as you can see, it's flat, and there's pre-drilled holes to make assembly really straightforward for you. One quantum board goes there, one quantum board goes there, one quantum board goes there, one quantum board goes there. Woo, fancy, right? Boom, sexy. So, what are we gonna do first? Well, I'm gonna put the driver on first because it's a little tougher than your quantum boards are. So. One thing you will notice on this, uh, on this heat sink here is on one side you got a hole there and you got a hole there. On the other side, however, you've got a hole there, a hole there, and a hole there. I'm assuming that that's for us to run our wires through from the boards through here to wire it into that. That's how I did the assembly on the last one. So what does that mean? So that means you're going to take your power cord in and you're going to put it on the left hand side if you're looking at it where the extra hole is on the right. So where there's two holes rather than the one, the two holes here, you're gonna want this, uh, these little skinny ones. You got, uh, this is gonna be for our potentiometer wiring in. This red and the blue, okay? This is hot or positive, this is your negative. We're gonna use that for wiring our boards in a series, okay? But first things first, those wires go on the side where there are two holes. So what you're gonna do, do your best to line this shit up, like so, or so. Ah, oh, that sound doesn't feel good on my ears, but there we is, there we go. 
All right, so there's our driver in place. Now what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna take some fucking bolts. We're gonna take a bolt, we'll put it in the hole. Ooh, fun for the whole family. There we go. So, you might have to fiddle around with it a bit. I won't lie to you, these bolts that I bought are slightly big, but that's okay. So you're gonna put the first one in place there. All right. Take a little nut. I like to just do it like this. You're gonna hold it like that. And you're just gonna take it and you're gonna tighten it on. At first, you can just hand tighten this shit and you can tighten it all up before you're done. So, tidy, 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 whitey, hey oh. Don't make it so tight because um, you're still gonna need to reposition the other side to get the other side's bolt in. So now, we're gonna take another bolt. Now, once you got your bolt, just like with the other side, we're gonna put it in the hole. So you see that, had to adjust it to get it over the hole and then play with it until I get it through the hole. Oh, it's such a tiny hole. Oh, come on, you piece of shit. There we go, that should be good. So now, I'm just gonna throw that in right through the damn hole. Yay, hey, there we go, we got it. So now, holding it in place, you will take your other bolt, your nut, or yeah, your nut, not your bolt. The bolt is what we just put into the hole. Hey, oh. And you're gonna try to get that fucker on there. Ah, shit. There we go. Perfect. Now remember, we hand tighten this shit. We're hand tightening that shit. So for now, we're good, okay? Now, the next step of what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna attach the power cable to the other power cable. That's your potential meter knob. This little doohickey, it turns out when I first got this, I was like, what the fuck is that? I don't fucking get it. However, I get it now. Doesn't matter, we'll get to that shit later. So we're gonna take this, and this is a connector. It's a waterproof connector. I'm sure it has a name. I don't remember what that name is. But it's actually quite cool on how it works. So what we're gonna do is first we're gonna attach the connector onto the power cord. So you're gonna take that pit that you took off there, you're gonna stick those through the hole. All right, all right. Now, these cables are a bit long. So I'm gonna just cut them shorter. There we go. Now, white means hot. That means there's power in it. Black is your negative. That's where, so the power goes through your, your hot wire, goes around, and returns through the, the cold wire, or the black wire, or your negative wire. Green means grounding, so power surges. It's gonna keep itself safe. So, now what I've done is I've just exposed, I'm gonna start with the grounding wire and I've exposed it. I'm gonna give it a little twist of Rooney there just to keep all those nice little fibers nice and tight. Now, on this little connector chip here, the bronze colored one, you got a silver, a gold, and a bronze-ish thing. The bronze, -ish, bronze one is gonna be your ground, okay? So you're gonna loosen off the little screw there, just like that, like so until you can almost not see it in the little hole there. Then simply put, you're gonna take your ground wire and stick it in the hole. 
Ooh, being an electrician, playing with electricity. It's a lot of sticking things in holes. Good times. Ooh, it's hard to do holding it like this, but I'm trying to show everybody. So now I'm tightening the screw back down onto that. Nice and snug. Now you're going to repeat everything for that. So silver will be your white hot wire and the black one in this will be your black wire. Now we're just going to quickly do that and if I know how to, we're going to speed this up. There we go. Jimmy crack corn, I don't care. Jimmy crack corn, and I don't care. Jimmy crack corn, and I don't care. And I'll call you in the morning. There we go. Putting it now in the hole. Tightening the holder up on that. Make it nice and tight. Don't go so hard though that you strip your screws, okay? Because that's just not going to do nothing, no good for nobody. Okay, I've kind of done this a little weird. So I'm going to put my black in through this way now. There we go. Get rid of that piece and we're going to strip the black one now. There we go. It's very sexy. It's very nice. Twist the Rooney, twist the Rooney. There we go, and we're gonna do that like so. Open it up. Sticking it in the hole. Now. Making it nice and tight. Boom. Now, as you can see, that's all connected now. We're going to double check all of our screws, making sure they're tight. Tight, yep. Tight, yep. Last but not least, tight, yep. So now you're going to take this part of the thing, you're going to slide it down and screw this first part. So there's two pieces. Keep that one back first and screw that piece on first. And now, you're going to take this one and you're going to screw it on. Now, mind you, I didn't quite trim my wires enough there. So you see, probably should trim them a bit more. I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to put some electrical tape onto it. These handy little waterproof things got some rubber in there. So as you, as you tighten that, it's gripping the wires, keeping it nice and safe. Now, you're going to repeat the exact same process to attach your power cord onto this. Oh look, same colors. Perfect. Awesome. Let's do that shit now. So we got Jimmy Crack Corn, I don't care. Just twist them all up, pre-setting them. Getting them nice and ready, okay? Perfect. Now as we did with the last one, first piece, I'm going to take it like that. Now that's on. And we're going to do it like this. There we go. Putting that through and on. Now the threads of your wires, the copper pieces, may have gotten a little wonky there. So try to get them straightened out if you can. Keep them nice and fucking tight. Nice and fucking tight. There we go. Now we're repeating the exact same process we did on this connector here as we did on the other one. Making sure that our cables are going in the same goddamn ports. Well, fucking nothing's gonna fucking work there for you. Okay? Nothing will work. So we're gonna put that one in there nice and tight as you can see it's in there holding that take the screwdriver 
Boom. See that? Nice and tight. Don't strip your screws. Now we're just going to do that and repeat and open up the rest of them. Perfect. Now you're going to take that little white one and try to get it in the fucking hole. Careful, too, because it's a little tight, so I left these a little short. That's fine. Making sure these are tight and stay together when you're trying to get it into the damn hole. There we go. Make that one nice and tight. Remember, white is going to your silver, green to the bronze, and the black wire is going to the black part of this, okay? Last but not least, a little black wire, okay? Open that up, twisting that, making it nice and tight and together, and gently trying to pull it back and get the damn things in the goddamn hole. There you go. Ah, I fucked it. Attention to detail, my friends. If you pay attention slowly but surely as you go through assembling things, there's less of a chance of you fucking up and having to go back and redoing shit. So there we go. We've got our black wire safe and sound in its little home. And then we're wiring that up, closing off that screw. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Then you're going to take your next one there. Screwing that on. Okay, you see that? There we go. And taking your back final nut and screwing that on there too. So, just twisting it all together. We have now successfully attached the driver to the heat sink and wired the bitch for power. So, what next? Well, Next we get to play with our quantum boards and get them on this bitch. But so how are we gonna do that? Well, first of all, we're gonna gently, don't grab from this end, see these? These edges, sharper than fuck, be careful. I didn't find that out the hard way, no. I, I always make the right decision the first time. There we go. Take your power cord and let that go to the side there. I'm gonna break my own rule now and lift it by the sharp parts. And we're just gonna let it sit down on itself. Making sure though that all of our cables are safe and copacetic. At this point, you can reach in, tighten your nuts a bit, just a little bit. That was pretty good. And at the end, I mean, when we flip it back over, um, we can uh, tighten those again with a pair of pliers and shit. But, we go back to our handy dandy little kit that comes with a bunch of shit. So in there, got our hangers, these little screws, those are gonna hold our quantum boards on. See that? Boom, another hanger. It's gonna be one hanger there, one hanger there. Um, we'll zap strap in case we need it. Let's just dump all this shit out, okay? So, one thing I will point out is for ease of use, I guess you could say, comes with these little feet. I will screw those on and you'll do that. Put your, put your hand on the other side of the hole and you screw it in until you feel it touch your finger. So the point of these little feet are so that when you have your quantum boards on, you can, in fact, um, do that. Also, just realize that the way I've done these bolts, it's going to be stupid. On the other one, I put these bolts the opposite ways. That's the smart way to do it. I did it the dumb way for the video. 
Oops. Because these feet will be null and void with those bolts on. So I might quickly uh, switch those around. Real quick. So, I'm just gonna try to loosen this off. This is why hand tightening shit and then doing the final tight when you know she's all, you know, ready to go is a better way to do it because it makes it easier for you to switch shit around. Oh, come on, you piece of shit. Come on. There we go. Now, we're going to play with this until we see the driver's hole again. Well, there it is. We're going to loosen off the other side. Did a good job on that one. There we go. Loosen that off just a bit, because then it makes it easier for you to play around with your positions. Now we got that back lined up. Put that back through. Put your nut back on. I'm gonna do it like this. And then you can grab it and pull it up. And just start screwing it on. Screwing on a bolt. There we go. Hold that in place. Just doing it finger tight. Just finger tight for now. There we go. Switching these bolts around now. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. There we go. Some people get intimidated by do-it-yourself kits. I would be lying if I said I wasn't slightly intimidated when I first was trying to figure out how to do this, but you know, where there's a will, there's a way. Don't be afraid to take risks and don't be afraid to learn new things. All right, so now that I've reversed my bolts properly with my nuts, when we flip it onto these little feet, it will provide more clearance so it doesn't damage our quantum boards, all right? Now, I'm gonna take a quick break, go for a cigarette. I'll see you in a minute, bitches. And I mean bitches with love, my friends. Oh, yes, oh, yes. All right then, I'll be right back. And welcome back. I've now had a cigarette and I'm feeling much better. Hey, oh. All right, baby, so now for the next step. What's the next step? Well, the next step is going to tell you. Next step is going to be putting on our little sexy quantum boards. This is, these are the V2 quantum boards. They just came out with these, boasting a new 7% efficacy. Does that mean efficiency? I don't know. Efficiency boost, oh, hey, there we go. Language, isn't it fun? All right, so push our random crap over for the moment. And we're gonna play with our quantum boards. Now remember, be very gentle. Not that they're like made out of glass or anything, but still be gentle. It's better safe than sorry. So, we're just gonna gently remove both quantum boards like that, okay? Now, I'm gonna put it like this. I'm gonna separate the quantum boards. Put one down there. Super slick, smooth surface, I don't know, seems to work. Goes right there on it. As you can tell, on this board, okay, there's four corners, okay? These are negative terminals, these are positive terminals, okay? So, we're gonna find where our second hole is. It's right there, okay? So we're gonna put the positive terminals close to that hole just to make our wiring a little bit easier. And I'm sure any electrician out there will know how to do this better than I will and more efficiently but I am not an electrician I am a madman who likes science and being weird so that's roughly in position now that it's roughly in position you're going to take your screws see little screws well they're more like bolts but little bolts in that they have a flat head hey yo what hey yo so, it's gonna be one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Total of eight screws per board to hold that bitch on. So I'm gonna just dump some of these out. Be careful not to lose your shit. I have noticed that uh, they seem to come with one or two extra screws, but at the same time, just be careful. So I'm just gonna gently hand put each screw along the top in first. Just enough so it begins to bite, okay? Just enough that it begins to bite. Cut, okay, come on, bitch. There we go. Ah, yeah, come on. As you can tell, I'm a very nimbly fingered man. All right, so we got the one in there, one more now. Just gonna pull that down. Put this last one in. All right. I swear to God, it does work if you're patient. I'm used to doing this sitting down. Standing up isn't helping. Okay, so now, to make this easy for yourself, now that you've got those three screws in, right, you're just gonna slide this up into those. That'll help you line up the other screws. See, that's why we do it that way. Makes it easy. Now, we're gonna Gently do this, boom. Gently do this. Shit, come on, cunt. There we go. Got that one in there. Get this last one in there. Boom. So we got six in now. I'm gonna do our center screws. There we go. No, almost. My hands work any good. Okay, for this last one, I'm getting frustrated. So I'm gonna use my screwdriver to get this bitch in. Go like this, into the hole. And then there we go, gently. Putting her in. I don't think she's catching. No, nope, definitely not. Definitely not. So I'm going to go back to the fingers then. Oh, this one's re my hands are not working great today. I'll tell you. All right. See, I'm, a, I'm off on the threads on this. I can feel it. You don't want to strip your threads. Even though it should have nothing to do with that, I'm going to try a different screw for this one. Maybe that'll help. Making sure it's all straight on and flush. No, I almost think that the threading on this hole isn't perfect. Yeah, that's not good. Well, we got the other ones in properly, so let's tighten those ones up now. There we are, tighten our screws. Tightening our screws. So there we go. So now, oh, we missed a couple. Attention to detail, my friends. Attention to detail. There we go. And then, wow, 
last but not the least. That one. <clears throat> so now, just to point out, you're going to be wiring these in a series. What does that mean? Positive goes to negative, negative goes to positive. So a positive wire is going to come out from our driver. That's our red. We're going to wire that into here, okay? So positive to positive at the start. Then we're going to take this far corner here. Now you can see that. So we're going to wire into that. Then this negative is going to wire into the positive of the next board that goes here. So we take the next board. See, that's two negatives. We're going to need a long piece of wire for that. So I'm going to switch it around and put that one like that. So you see, that negative now only goes to that positive. And uh, like I said, an actual electrician might do this better. So I'm going to, I'm going to kill the video now. We're just doing the same process we did in the last one, attaching all the quantum bloods in the same exact way. I'll touch base with you once I'm done that. Um, those first two boards in each one, there were two holes that were subtly, the threads just weren't perfect. Um, got the screws in as much as I could. You've got seven other screws holding the bitches down. You fine, you know? Like, you don't need to worry. It's okay, my friends. So, now to wire our quantum boards. First, you're going to take your solid state wires. One's red, one's black. Untangle those. Get them separate or attempt to. There we go. Oh, almost there. There we go. There we go. Da 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 da. Et voila. So, we're going to start with our positive red wire. As we have said, we are going to be wiring, to start the series, the positive to this positive. We will show you how to connect to this after we wire this. So, first what you're going to do is take this, feed it through the hole, making sure that we're going to have enough wire to wire these two things together. So that should be about right. So then I'm gonna bend that to hold that in place just to help us size things out. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna take that wire in there, hold that position. And you're gonna basically just go like this to see roughly how long you're gonna need the wire. So that's gonna be long enough there. Come in, you're gonna clip that. Now you're gonna keep this for later. Put that over there. Now, you're gonna strip off the end of this, like so. Now you have exposed your solid state wire. There's a little hole on this clip. All you have to do to make these work is stick it in until you feel it clip in. Nice and snug, like so. Now, as you can see, that is now connected. So we've got the wire that's gonna feed into our driver wire connected in the first positive terminal. Now we're gonna take a little bit of black wire. As you can tell, because we've done it, so you know, that one corner positive, we're gonna take the negative opposite corner and wire that into the positive of the next board. So as you can tell, going to be a little horseshoe like this. That's it. So, we don't need tons of wire for that. We'll strip the one first part here, like so. Perfect. Now we're going to take that and wire that into the negative. Again, just pushing it in until it clips and it's nice and snug. Make a little horseshoe, see how long you're going to need it. Boom. Clip it. Clipped. Now we're going to strip it. Boom. Done. Making sure that's still stuck in the negative. We're going to take that negative and wire it into this positive. There we go. Boards one have initially been wired to two. Now we're going to take the number two board and wire it in to number three board. 
using the opposite negative to the positive terminal, wiring it into this positive terminal. All right? So I like to use the red when I'm doing a, a positive in to a negative. Since this is a negative to a positive, I use the black. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but it works. So what are we going to do? Well, first, positive. Technically, this would be a negative to a positive as well. So I should, in theory, use black. Fuck it. As you will learn, it doesn't actually matter the color of wires you use for this shit. It's all the same wire on the inside. So we're going to plug that into there. Plugged in. That negative is going to this positive. So we're going to see roughly how much do we need there. Clip it. Oop, that was the wrong way to do that. I may have gone too short on that wire now. Always be careful when doing this. As you can tell, I am a very careful person all the time. <laughs> well, this is just proven to be a bitch, isn't it? Come on, baby. There we go. Stretch that along like that, from that negative into this positive here. We think it should be just long enough if we're lucky. Oh, shit. I think I may have fucked it. Oh! I think I just got it to work. That one's in. And that one seemingly is in. Give it a little tug. A little tug, not too hot. Just enough to see that you got it in. Hey, we did it. We pulled it off. Nice one. So, so now I'm going to ask you then, ladies and gentlemen, if we've gone from this positive and taken that negative to that positive and then that negative to that positive, what are we going to do next? This negative now is going to this positive. So we're going to use our black wire for that. Why? Because, well, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, we're going to do it anyway. Hey! So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, strip in the wire. Wire is now stripped. Okay? Wire it into the negative terminal on the opposite corner. Pop. Bob's your uncle. Curling it around. Now we're going to clip it and strip it. We've clipped it. Now we're stripping it. Oops. Why does that keep happening? I'm being silly. Well, let's try this again, yeah? There we go. Making sure that this is still solidly into our negative, we're now going to insert it into our positive. Boom. She's now in, negative to positive. We literally have one more piece of wiring to do on this one. So. My patterns of wire coloring may be off, but the connections are all right. I know that for a fact. So, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna strip it. There we go. Get it on the right gauge there. Strip it. Insert it into the negative terminal. Because remember, positive, negative, right? Opposite sides. That is now into the negative terminal. We're gonna feed this wire now back through where our positive wire went. If we clipped it before we did this, that probably would have been smarter, but fuck it. We're not smart here at Pot Squatch Grower, it's just insane, but we get the job done. So, as you can now see, we have wired this like so. All done, complete circuit, recap, positive to the positive, from the driver, then positive, then that negative to that positive, that negative to that positive, that negative to that positive, put negative to the negative of the driver. We've now created a series wiring 
on the boards on the system. Lo and behold, we're actually done on this side. I'm gonna go grab some real quick pliers here. Actually, I could probably do this by hand. I'm just gonna see if I can tighten those bolts enough. Oh, that's not a flathead. Not a flathead, there we go. It might be too big. I don't think so. I'm just gonna hold on that and just really get it nice and tight. There we go, she's nice and tight there. Um, if your hands aren't as strong as mine, you can use a little pair of pliers to hold your nut as you screw. That sounds like a fetish porn, doesn't it? There we go, nice and tight. So, now, I'm gonna move some of this shit out of the way. We don't need these till we're hanging them. Move that. These are our little waggle clip connectors. Okay, they're very similar to what's on the boards. To use them, you just pull up the little tab, you stick the wire in, close the tab. As long as you've got it really in there, it's gonna grip it, hold it, it's good to go, okay? Waggle connectors, making your life easy. So, we're gonna flip this now around. See, that's why we put our feet on, because now what we can do is we can go like this, being careful of your wires, careful in general there we go now I'm gonna grab it like this and we're gonna flip this around now, as you can see make sure that there's nothing that they're sitting on they're okay these feet are all right there there we go we're now in position so these, I believe it's called, are tinned in. I don't know how that's gonna affect anything. So I'm gonna clip those tinned off tips off. Okay? There we go. So, first, we don't need that much black wire. So we're gonna trim that down to roughly the same size as our red, as you see there, okay? I'm gonna make sure the frame is catching that. Yeah, you're seeing shit, it's cool. All right, so, now, it's time to strip the wires, or try to. That one's too big. Okay, so that one worked. We used the, the uh, 12 setting on this, but Probably gonna need more exposed wire than that. So again, like we did before, I'm twisting that nice and tight, okay? You're gonna take your little wago clip now. We're gonna open up the one port. Stick that right in the hole, thusly. Close it, yank on it gently, it's connected. Now, I'm gonna take this wire we're going to strip it. We're going to take a little waggle here. Okay. Open up the left port on the waggle clip. Stick your red wire in. As you can tell, this is lots of fun sometimes, but there we go. Nice and deep, making sure it's set into the middle of your wago. Wago clip. Sometimes it'll take you a try or two to actually get it. So there we go. Seems to be good. And she's tight. See that yank? That means she's gripping. Now we're gonna take this blue around here and we're going to repeat the same exact procedure and wire that in. Twist the rooney, twist the poony, hello. Take a little waggle here. We'll put that into the left port there. Close it, tug it, it's good. Now we're going to strip our black wire, our negative. 
And we're going to do this. There we go. Now she's exposed. Opened up your left waggle port. So at that one in, like so. Seems to be grabbing it properly there. And ladies and gentlemen, this thing will now turn on. When you turn this one on, it's gonna go right to 100%. How do we fix that? We use that potentiometer we were talking about. Now, I'll be right back because I'm gonna go get a multimeter to show you something real quick. The middle and the left wire. As you can see, this is testing at 99.3, 99.5, 99.6K ohms. This, this uh, potentiometer is basically good to go. Um, you want to hit to about 100 to 120. The first one we tested was like 76.5, so you're losing out on a quarter. This is so close that I'm going to say that this potentiometer is more than fine to use. Okay. Always turn off your multimeter because you don't want the batteries to die. So, this one is good and ready to rock and roll. So far, potentiometer, we're gonna take our silver, I mean middle uh, wire, and we're gonna connect it via Wago into our potentiometer. So you take that center wire and your potentiometer there, I think that's got connection. Then you connect it to the little gray wire coming out of this one here on your board's driver. Then you're gonna take this left wire and you're gonna put that to the purple wire, okay? So this purple here, And then you're going to connect that to your left wire on the potential meter. That seems to be all good and copacetic there. So now that that is connected, you would put your knob on. And that's how you're going to adjust your potential light, okay? However, for this video, I'm not going to have the potential meter wired in. That's how you test a potential potential meter and wire that bitch into there. But like I said, for the purposes of what we're doing right now, we've shown you how to test it, we've shown you how to put it in. So fuck it. Now for the fun part. Okay, so first. Make sure our cables are okay here. Now, grab it this way, because it's sharp on the other sides. And you're just gonna flip Rooney, like so, onto the uh, LED driver. Okay, making sure all of our cables are good. Nothing's getting hot there. Perfect. Now, time to test this bitch and say goodbye. I need to get a power cord, I'll be right back. And I'm back. So, we've come to the potentiometer, and now we are time to turn this light on. Now, if I've done everything correctly, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to work. And if I have not, well, I'm gonna be redoing this final clip of the video. Okay, ready? And if there was a God, he or she or they would say, let there be light. Oh my god! It's burning my fucking eyes! It's very bright! I'm gonna turn that off now. Ah, oh, my face. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, so it works, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to How to Assemble 
a horticulture lighting company, Quantum Board Lighting System. Hey, oh, this is the future. It draws 68% of the power of a thousand watt lighting system with a greater 240 PPF than a normal traditional HPS. HPSs are normally going to be going about 1240, 1260 PPF if I'm remembering correctly. This puppy's getting up to 1540, 1600 PPF coming out of those boards. Fuck my eyes hurt. Don't look at it. It's really bright. All this, this check is everywhere. But that's the video. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, don't be a cunt nugget unless you're an asshat. I don't even know. But don't be afraid to take risks. Have fun. Learn. Try new shit. This is the future. This is Star Trek pot growing. Word out. Peace out, motherfuckers.